This is SSPTV News, brought to you by Samsung Productions and the Hazleton Standard Speaker. A Cunningham native who spoke to the president about the Paycheck Protection Program tells us how it can help local businesses. Welcome everyone, please make yourselves at home. Mi casa, su casa. Gracias for watching. Mi amo, Ken Cara, Spanish Honor Society. And I have your local information from SSP TV and the Hazleton Standard Speaker. Schuylkill County added 25 new cases of COVID-19 to its numbers on Thursday. The county also added one new death, as did Carbon County. Luzerne County reported 32 new cases and six new deaths. In all, 2,292 people have died from COVID-19 in Pennsylvania. These numbers are from the State Department of Health. As more businesses prepare to open and stay-at-home orders are slowly lifted, more testing for COVID-19 is needed, according to one local health official. Dr. Michael Evans, the medical director for the Lehigh Valley Health Physicians Group, says they are ready to test more people in the Hazleton area. Right now at Hazleton's two testing sites, you can only get tested if you have symptoms and are 65 or older or if you are an at-risk person. Go to lvhn.org COVID-19 for more testing information. Also also in the report from Kelly Monitz and Kent Jackson, Evan says antibody testing is now being done in the area. These tests will show if people have antibodies to fight COVID-19. The Pennsylvania State Police need your help in an animal cruelty case. On Wednesday in Hazel Township, troopers found a dead dog wrapped in two garbage bags, a blanket, and a flattened air mattress. They think the dog is a light brown American Pitbull Terrier, possibly a mixed breed, with white markings on its chest and paws. The report says the dog may have suffered blunt force trauma near the head. The dog was brought to the Wilkes-Barre SPCA for examination. Troopers believe the dog may have been left by someone in a vehicle between 8 p.m. and 8.30 p.m. on Wednesday in Hazel Township in the area of Hayes and East 13th Streets. If you have any information, you can call Trooper Tobias at PSP Hazelton at 570-459-3890. Cunningham native Luke Bernstein is the executive vice president of Orrstown Bank, and this week he met with President Donald Trump to talk about the U.S. Small Business Administration's Paycheck Protection Program. Arjanine Lassant caught up with Bernstein via Zoom and talked with him about the program and his experience at the White House. The Paycheck Protection Program is designed to get money into small businesses and, more importantly, uh, employees' hands immediately. So how the program was set out is Congress allocated funding in the first round, $349 billion. You would apply uh, th th through your local bank uh, who would have delegated authority from the SBA. Your local bank would approve your loan. Uh, what it is, it's um, two and a half months of your monthly payroll plus uh, some other uh, some state and local taxes, um, health care, retirement, you take that sum, uh, you times it by uh, two and a half times one month, you would then uh, submit your application, your local bank would approve you, and once approved, uh, within 10 days from, from our bank, we would close that loan. So you would get that loan. So let's say uh, your total amount was for $50,000, uh, you would get that $50,000. Then you would have to meet certain parameters of the program. And what those parameters are is 75% of that would have to go to payroll, at least 75%. The other 25% in utilities or rent, mortgage. And if you could meet those requirements, that loan, in a sense, becomes a grant. So it would be 100% forgiven for that small business. And really, the whole goal is it allows the small businesses now that aren't might might have either pulled back significantly from their business or might be closed entirely to bring employees back onto the payroll so they can pay them. Do you need to bring all employees back to qualify for this loan? You need to spend 75% of the total amount in payroll. So uh, they are going to be coming out with all the loan forgiveness parameters, but that is really what it's designed to do. It's designed to bring all employees back so those employees can come back and not go to unemployment. What it does for a small business, it allows small businesses to keep those employees on their payroll so they don't file for unemployment or they don't go try and get a job somewhere else. Now, a lot of people want to stay where they are employed, and this program is designed to do that. Talk about your experience Tuesday with the president. 
yeah, it was, it was pretty surreal, you know, as you, you indicated growing up in a small town, um, you know, going down to the White House, uh, got to spend some time with the president and Ivanka. Uh, just, just the three of us talked about what our bank has been able to do uh, to be successful with the Paycheck Protection Program. And really, our success is defined by the small businesses and employees that we're helping. Uh, then uh, was able to go out and, and speak in, in front of the country to talk about um, really banks standing together arm in arm, trying to help one another uh, through this time. And, and also got to spend some time with the president in the Oval Office, talk to the Secretary of Treasury, talk to uh, SBA Administrator about some of the successes uh, that we've had and the partnership, but also some of the challenges uh, that we've had with the system. And so in doing that, creating that dialogue, fostering that partnership is gonna get us much further towards our ultimate goal. And that's helping people uh, during a time when they really need that help. The second wave of loans from the SBA Paycheck Protection Program are going fast. So if you have a small business looking for help, Bernstein says to contact your bank as soon as possible. Time now for weather on SSP TV News. Can you spot the sunspot in this photo I took of our star yesterday? It's that little black smudge near the middle. Learn more about sunspots from NASA online if you're looking for something to do. Now our forecast from the National Weather Service. We do have a flood watch in effect for our area until tomorrow afternoon. Tonight, a 90% chance of rain and possibly a thunderstorm. Low of 51 degrees. New precipitation amounts between 3 quarters and 1 inch possible. Friday, 70% chance of showers and a possible thunderstorm. Mostly cloudy with a high of 60. New rainfall amounts between a quarter and half of an inch possible. Friday night, 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms, mostly cloudy with a low of 45. Saturday, partly sunny, high of 60. At night, mostly cloudy, low of 46. Sunday is partly sunny with a high of 63. And then on Sunday night, a 30% chance of showers, mostly cloudy, low of 47. Monday, 30% chance of showers, partly sunny, high of 58. And Monday night, partly cloudy with a low of 36 degrees. Four Tamaqua area athletes have announced where they will continue their academic and athletic careers. We'll share two of them today and then two tomorrow on the news. Brianna Dumond has been a standout for the Lady Raider cross country and track and field teams. Lots of medals, folks, including a gold for the 4x8 relay at districts. She's going to Bloomsburg University where she plans on studying speech language pathology. Caitlin Rudy is an all-county soccer player and she's heading to Pitt Johnstown where she'll major in nursing. Still to come, a fun cooking segment from my kitchen, for real, and a story on the 2020 Hazleton Area High School softball team. SSP TV News would like to send sincere condolences to the family and friends of the following. John Broski, 93, formerly of Haddock. Robert J. Bonikowski, 70 of Hazleton. A service will be held at a later date. The Davis Dinelli Funeral Home in Nanakoke is handling arrangements. You can send condolences at DinelliFuneralHome.com. Dr. Henry J. Stauffenberg, Mass will be streamed on Saturday on the Church of the Annunciation of the Blessed Virgin Mary Ottawa, Canada Facebook page. David Dave Charles Rothrock, 71, formerly of Hazleton. Condolences can be made at pasimplecremation.com. Anna R. Urish of Freeland, the McHugh Wilczek Funeral Home in Freeland will announce arrangements. And Timothy Timmy Farley, 65, of Hazleton, the Boyle Funeral Home in Hazleton will announce arrangements. Tonight's social news has been brought to you by Harmon Funeral Homes and Crematory. For information, call 570-788-0977 or go to harmonfuneral.com.